Today on Pots and Trials we're going to be giving the lawn a little autumn care to get it in good condition for next year. Hello and welcome to Pots and Trials. Well here we are now, first week in October. Summer has well and truly gone and it feels very autumnal now. Cooler temperatures, blustery weather. We're getting some lovely autumn colour on the trees. In fact, the leaves are falling and just swirling around the garden. But one of the things that we haven't had, certainly in this part of the country where we are, we're in Lincolnshire now on the east side, we haven't had much in the way of rain through the summer or even in the early part of the autumn. And as a result, all the lawns burnt off and lots of parts of the garden really, really struggled this summer. We've had a little bit of rain, but not an awful lot. So we've still got patchy areas on the lawn where it's looking a bit brown and not as I would expect it at this time of the year. So I'm gonna carry out just a little bit of autumn maintenance just to get the lawn in better condition for next year. So this is forward planning. So what I'm gonna do is first of all, is just dig a little hole in the garden and I'm just going to lift a piece of turf and just to see what the soil's like underneath. And I can see already that this soil is really, really bone dry. You can see it's just running through my fingers, just like dust. And that's only just three inches down, something like that. So obviously we haven't had enough rain, but my worry is that when it does rain, it's going to take a while to get down there. The soil itself is fine. I'm happy with that. It's just that the rain isn't getting down beyond that point. So we'll just pop that back into the hole. It won't even know it's gone. I'll probably give that a little drink just to settle it in when we've finished. So what can we do to make sure this lawn is looking better next year? Well, if I get my rake, we can see here that we've got an awful lot of dead grass. Some of it is greening up, little bits are now greening up tufts of grass, but there's a lot of dead areas in between there that really we need to just liven that, get a little bit of air down into the soil. And if you've only got a small patch to do, and I, I'm only going to do part of the lawn where it's in need of it, I'm just going to use a wire rake. And what that will do is just lift that dead and flat material, it lifts it very easily as you can see, and we can rake that off. Um, and that just exposes a little bit of the soil there and that will be absolutely fine. The other way you can do it, if you've got a bigger area to do it, is to of course use a, an electric lawn rake. And these are really good and they will make a, an amazing job. And underneath these, it's basically just wire tines that spin round very quickly and do exactly the same as I've been doing by hand, by hand just to make the job easier. So it's quite a, an easy job. Just pass over it. Like that. And that has the added advantage that it will also collect it. So it's a case of going over the lawn like that just to, to get rid of the rubbish more than anything. What you could do then, if you wanted to, if you've got lots of tufty bits, is to just pass the lawn now over it, just on high, just to chop those off and gather any fallen leaves on there as well. So that just tidies it up a little bit. So once we've scarified it to get some air into the base, the other thing we can do is to spike it. And because the soil is so dry below, what can sometimes happen with soils, all sorts of soils, clay soils and sandy soils, is they can become what's known as hygrophobic. And that means that the water can't penetrate down into the soil. So when it rains, it sits on the top and, and runs off to the lowest level, but doesn't go down where it's needed to the root. So to overcome that, what we can do is just to spike it. Now, very often we spike to help with drainage, but this is a completely the opposite. So I'm not going in deep. I'm just pricking the surface, only just that sort of depth there, a couple of inches at the very most. So the theory being, when it does rain, which hopefully it will sooner or later, it feels like it in the air today, then it means that water has actually got some holes that it can go down into and will get down to where the roots are. So that in itself will really improve the lawn for next year. And then finally, what I'm going to do is give it an autumn feed. And the feed we put on at this time of the year is very, very different 
to the feed that we would put on in the spring and summer. In the summer we'd put on a, a high nitrogen feed to encourage lots of strong green growth to keep the lawn looking lush through the summer months. What we do at this time of the year is we want one with low nitrogen so we don't get that growth because that's susceptible to frost damage and disease. So low nitrogen but high phosphates. Phosphates encourage a strong root system. A strong root system means that the grass will survive the winter better and grow away better in the spring and also cope with dry conditions next year and it's also high potash and potash induces winter hardiness and helps with disease resistance so it's building up the strength of the lawn and the grass underneath ready for next year now you could use a spreader for this i'm just going to use um, a gloved hand and it wants to go on at about 30 grams per square meter or about uh, an ounce per square yard and so it's what you can practice if you want but it's just a, a very light sprinkling over the soil try and keep it as even as you can and then that is basically it if it doesn't rain within two or three days fingers crossed it will then probably just give it a very light water and just a watering can just to dissolve it and start it to act away but otherwise if it rains nature will wash it in and it will be working busily underground so come spring you will have a lawn that is in much better condition Thank you for watching Pots and Trials. Remember, you can catch up on everything that we've done on YouTube and on Facebook. Join us again next time when we'll be doing more practical jobs in the garden. See you then. Bye.